everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Really excited today to take a look at the new 2021 Bayliner DX2250. This is their stern drive 22 foot deck boat model. Um, and as you can see, especially when we get inside here, this is a big, big boat. It's a very, very large 22 footer. You can shoot sitting on the trailer here. It is just ginormous. It's a big boat. It's comfortable. It's roomy. Um, but on top of that, you know, the nice thing with Bayliner is their boats always have really good riding hulls. A lot of deck boat style boats kind of have shallow bows. They don't really ride that well. They smack in the waves. But uh, this particular model um, on all the Bayliner deck boat models carry the you know, deep V that goes all the way to the front of the boat. Um, got a lot of strakes, good for stability, but really, really great riding boat as well. So in the bow area of the DX2250, you can see, unlike a lot of deck boats, it's actually a very, very deep V. And the V continues all the way to the front. So it really gives you, even though it does have that little bit wider bow area, the hull is kind of similar to a bow rider or a traditional boat. So you get a good quality ride, uh, but without sacrificing the space that you gain from the deck boat. So we're in the transom of the 2250 Bayliner. So obviously this is the stern drive model, so the engine's located underneath here, um, it's, it's, as opposed to the outboard model where the engine's going to be in the back. So you know one of the advantages of this style is you just have this ginormous open space back here. Um, you know this is a rear-facing seat that flips forward a couple different configurations if you want to lay it like this. Um, you also have a nice large. This has got the optional uh, padding on it uh, for a little bit more comfort, as well as the extended swim platform. So. Plenty of space back here for the kids to jump in and out of the boat, chill. You know, if somebody fishes off the back of this boat, there's plenty of usable, walkable space. Um, really, really good, you know, area. And then in addition, you also have a couple cool features like the storage compartment that opens up from the rear. So if you want to get bumpers or something like that in the boat from the transom, um, you can easily access it, as well as the storage compartment on the other side as well. So again, deep, nice, well-finished off storage with a water management system to keep the compartment as dry as possible. So really good, well-designed transom area and the walkthrough all the way to the bow. So that's, again, another cool thing as you get into this boat. Um, you don't have to step on cushions to get into the cockpit. So again, this Bayliner is always known for just having great amount of usable space for the size of the boat. And this is no exception in this DX2250. So the cockpit size is just very, very large, you know, very wide, very wide feeling with Bayliner's beam forward design. We talked about the little flip-flop seat here where you can face forward or face backwards. This is obviously facing forward. Um, you know, other cool features that you get into this model that you don't get in the smaller models is you do have a little freshwater sink, uh, storage compartment um, here, you know, for a cooler or something else. Um, just again, as you see the Bayliner, we're also seeing more stainless steel get added through the boat. You know, Bayliner is still a value-oriented boat, but it's nice that you, you see stainless steel in more places as opposed to plastic. And you know, it's, they really are stepping their game up as far as making the boat, um, you know, as high-end as possible, but keeping the price into a reasonable level. Um, as we move toward the passenger side area, this is again a flip-flop multi-use seat, so you can face it forward, kind of like we have here, kind of as a co-captain, which is pretty cool. You can have it face backwards kind of sit you know if you're watching a tuba or a skier plenty of space to sit so again versatility in the seating and there's actually a third position you bring it all the way down and you create a whole pad here which you can actually sit again facing all the way backwards with a pad against the console so again multiple versatile seating really cool setup in the way that they design that um, to give you the maximum amount of versatility and then this is the other cool thing. You can actually use this boat if you so choose. This does have a head compartment if you did want to put a porta potty in. All right, or just use it as a lot of storage for obviously there's cushions and covers and stuff in there, but you actually, it is big enough to put a porta potty in if you so choose. So again, maximizing the space. A lot of times in a 22 foot boat, you're not going to see storage for cutties or, and your storage for um, you know, toilets and things like that but this one's offered on this DX2250. So we move to the dash of this DX2250. Um, Bayliner's done a nice job you know cleaning this dash up you know everything you need but not you know overbearing you know nice heavy duty you know windshield. Um, you know another nice thing I like is that it's really ergonomically friendly. You know I'm a bigger guy six foot two and you know I've got plenty of space for my legs my knees aren't banging into the dash. The seat's adjustable. You do have a bolster seat 
included on this. So if you are idling through trying to get better visibility, you can put the bolster up or if there's somebody shorter driving, you know, um, full instrumentation, stereo. Um, actually, this one's equipped with a depth finder, um, but everything's really easy, adjustable steering wheel. And then the other thing I always like um, that always matters to me is having the throttle be ergonomically located where I'm not like reaching down in a weird area or awkward. So this is really nicely located and no matter what position I would have it in. So again, good space utilization on the, on the dash on this uh, DX2250. So power is obviously the name of the game. Everybody wants to know how fast it'll go and how it will perform. Um, this boat's standard with a Mercury 4.5 liter 200 horsepower engine. And for light for light recreational use, we've actually sold a lot of these with this particular engine. Um, however, this one's op optioned up to the 250 4.5. So, you know, if you're doing a lot of water sports, um, you know, that type of stuff, skiing, tubing, you know, the, everybody's gonna always appreciate a little bit more power. So this particular boat that we have in stock has the 250. But if you're more recreational use, just kind of cruising, keep it keep mellow. The standard 200 horse does a good job. Um, the other thing I always like to point out, um, you know, particularly on these newer models of Bayliners, because, you know, you looked at an older model or even a lot of other brands, the, the fit and finish of the, you know, engine compartment, the fit and finish of the storage compartment, it's just night and day with what it used to be. Um, the Bayliner does a really nice job finishing this off in what is a nice clean area, um, nice clean storage areas, and a good water management system. You know, and a lot of times in a value-oriented boat, you're gonna look in there and it's gonna be, you know, old carpet or kind of rough, unfinished fiberglass. And Bayliner does a nice job, you know, really making this boat look a lot cleaner. Um, and then storage, again, as we talk about, as we move into the ski locker area of the boat, um, you have a nice deep, again, finished off real nice storage locker for skis or wakeboards. Again, a water management system with, you know, with a gasket on the outside so water doesn't get in there that doesn't need to be. So this particular model is optioned up with the uh, wakeboard tower or the water sports tower from Bayliner. Um, this is a nice option um, that we're getting more and more people getting on the boats. Um, in addition, just to obviously being able to wakeboard off of it or whatever with more leverage, a lot of people just tend to like it more than the regular bimini because the bimini top kind of attaches itself to the tower so it creates a much more sturdy bimini top. Obviously the bimini top's included in this as well. And some people just prefer the, the cosmetic look or they just like the fact that the bimini is a little bit more stable on the boat. So you can get this boat with a traditional bimini or the wake tower, whatever you prefer. Uh, but we're seeing more and more people get on this boat and a lot of different models of the wake tower. So good value option here from Bayliner. Uh, to get a wake tower that doesn't cost you 10 grand. It's, it's a reasonably priced option. So the last section of the boat we're gonna talk about is the bow. Um, you know, as we've kind of gone through this boat, you know, it's kind of crazy to think this is a 22 foot boat. When we look at how big the transom is, um, you know, the extended swim platform, how roomy the cockpit is, and then again, how roomy the bow is. So um, obviously with the deck style boat, we flare out to a, a wider bow. You know, three people can sit facing backwards like this have you know tons of space with the filler cushion um, again I'm a bigger guy and I'm fitting here no problem so you know again a great utilization is the bow space this one does have a bow boarding ladder so if you want to board for the boat from the bow as well as the transom you do have a bow boarding ladder and an anchor locker storage up here um, the other nice thing I, I like about the Bayliner is they do put the non-skid pretty much anywhere if you're boarding the boat from the bow um, nice non-skid all the way through so you're not you know, trying to step on the boat from the dock and you know, not having uh, something to step on that you're gonna slip on. You know, so again, just a great design and layout here. Um, obviously you have storage underneath all of this too. So this boat's not lacking in storage um, as well with all the different storage compartments. Um, you can store away all your cushions easily, quickly. Um, you know, they kind of have a space for everything. So it's just a well-designed boat. Thanks again for checking out the Bayliner 2021 DX2250 with us at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information about this boat, to view our full inventory, check out our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Thanks for watching.